is a... Okay, all right. There was a false start on both sides. <clears throat> oh! Yes! Oh! I mean, no. Best Samus. You're the best Samus now. Get Dino Fricked. Oh, oh, it's oh, two it's out of three. Who, who does that? It's best of amateur hour. Oh! oh! Not again. Not like this. Was that the actual set? Is that bracket? Most people. Mervis. <laughs> That's like a very common opening. Mervis, uh, somewhat infamous for losing to Pat Combo twice when Pat Combo told him that he Mervis? would only be throwing rock. So Mervis definitely not the. He looks so offended. <laughs> I just want to give you a gift, bro. I didn't ask if you wanted me. <laughs> Self-deprecating humor. Let's go. <laughs> All right. He's so upset about double scissors. All right, chat. Uh, I'm about to I'm about to pull, pull y'all up on my phone so we can interact with you. I just realized how Samusy paper is as a throw. I'm is surprised. It? Yeah, because it's like defensive. It's coverage. It's a wall. No, paper loses to rock, which is like the standard. I think pa rock would paper, be the paper doesn't lose to rock. Paper beats rock. Rock is aggressive. Is you, it? Yeah, that's like the the Chrome Magnon play. Okay. Right? right. And then like scissors is the sophisticated. Like scissors is Marth. Scissors is inherently spacing based. Okay. All right. I do play a spacing heavy Samus, which is why I typically do open scissors. Mm. Won't, okay. Won't All right. Anymore. Well, you say that on stream, and then yeah, you're I, know, throw, uh, I know. I've already ruined myself. You're throw on paper. Stream. I've given everybody my secrets already, and like I don't have a good. I, I'm not good at rock paper scissors anymore. <laughs> Everyone knows what I'm gonna do, and I have to like anticipate on the fly what they're gonna do. It's just an uneven matchup. All right, so we're going to final destination. Interesting oh. for game. What Marth? Whoa, the Marth is coming out. I'm confused. I think Samus beats Marth. Uh, no, that's not true. But I do think it's 55-45, right. which is basically winning at mid-levels. Uh, when, you, when you have a weird character like Samus, it's hard to combo for Marth. Right. Arbitrary numbers Definitely indeed. Definitely arbitrary numbers. But yeah, um, Samus can absolutely hold her own. Her ground game is very, very similar to Marth's in terms of she wants to stay incredibly grounded. Mm -hmm. And uh, instead of using like dash dancing, though, she'll oh. just kind of like keep place oh, with, with cool normals. Uh, her forward tilt. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Oh, my God. That, that was, was a cool guy combo. That was, that was pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Mervis uh, falls for the bait of standing there with invincibility. No, that's a good look. Oh. Shoots that away. He wants All to right, let him yeah. know that he doesn't need every resource possible to take out this Marth. Yeah. Mervis wanted a uh, even even playing ground, much like FD itself. Well, Marth has forward smash, which is a charge shot. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. You got to think about that. That being said, I'm surprised that missiles aren't like more devastating. Could you imagine shooting someone with a like missile? Damage and knockback? Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. They'll just tear you limb from limb. Well, the smash missiles kind of make sense, but the uh, they do twelve damage. The homing missiles don't make any sense. They're really sl sluggish and slow. I don't know how much homing missiles do off the top of my head. I think they do like eight or something. That feels kind of low. I think they do ten. I know, I know, uh, power missiles do twelve. Okay. That much is. is oh, oh, let's go. <coughs> Marth is a good look on Mr. Flex Rumble Crunch. He's trying to prove that he's not just a a brawn player like uh, most Falcon players are. Got a little finesse to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little bit of spacing, a little bit of intellect. <laughs> yeah. Not oh, there. As oh, as he air no. dodges yeah. off. <laughs> I think a big part of Marth, he lives in the uh, the meme house, right? Uh, No. Okay. I thought he, he did. He frequents the meme house, okay. though. I was going to say, because he probably plays with Arco enough to... To the point where he's probably developing a Marth just through. Right. Yeah, I can see that. Playing it. I also think, uh, in some ways, Marth and uh, Falcon share like the the slippery like ground movement. Yeah. And so I can I can kind of see why Marth would uh, appeal to Nathan here. Nathan has yet to di out uh, when getting grabbed. I think he di'd out once. Uh, and so Mervis tried to double or er, jump Nair, and he was out of range. But every other time he's DI'd like straight up. Yeah. 
If you DI, yeah, like if you don't DI out on Samus's down throw, it starts to look like a really devastating throw for a really long time. Right. Leads to hard and air, just straight up, just jump charge shot. Sick. There's a sick crouch on the down tilt there. You just buffered into crouch out of uh, the landing lag. Yeah. When you land in special fall from doing rising grapple, you actually have normal landing lag as opposed to like special landing oh, lag. Oh, okay. So it's actually a really, really good recovery option for a lot of reasons. The only thing is you don't have any like reasonably good hitboxes to cover yourself. Yeah. 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 Uh, sick. Sick air dodge, bro. Uh, you are a legend. Avant-garde recovery there by Marvicio. He's, He's dead. Done. He's done. This is going to be it. Oh, uh, no. I thought, he, I thought he had it. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's respecting Samus' space a little too much as Mark there. Uh, yeah. You, you can put the pressure. I guess he's out of crowd range. But at the same time, you still got to try oh, and put no. the pressure on just because the percent you're at in the last stock. Oh, no. Marvis is an idiot. Oh, let's go. Confirmed. Confirmed. There's actually no idiots. way to bring this back, though. Zero percent chance. Zero percent. Zero percent chance? I would say a uh, hundred and thirty-two percent chance. Yeah? Yeah. Bet? I think uh, him bringing it back to not bringing it back is a 132 to 44 matchup. I like Three numbers. to one? No, just just numbers. All right. Just a lot of numbers. Infinite numbers. Oh, my God. He killed with ice climbers. Oh, you're right. Dash next kill move. Yeah, dash attack. Dash attack, kill move at 150 for sure. It's, yeah, it's a reasonably a kill move. Uh, you know. Oh. Samus, Samus actually kind of lacks in kill power a lot. Sunny and Moo in the chat. Shout outs to, uh, shout outs especially to Moo. Uh, a player Moo we Kobe haven't yet. seen in a long time. Dude, Sunny's all right, dude. He plays Fox McCloud. Yeah, he does. Yeah. And he, uh, he shares the, that Dallas hatred of floating mid tiers. Dude, you can tell that uh, Flex doesn't really play Marth anywhere near as much as uh, Falcon because he's missing so many techs. Yeah. Usually when you see somebody missing an, an incredible amount of techs, or they'll do the most obvious tech patterns, uh, it, it means uh, character unfamiliarity. Oh, no. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, like garbage garbage space animals players will tech in place more frequently than like anything else. They'll just like, try, try, try to tech in place and shine. Yeah. Oh, let's go. You still can't grab aerially, but God bless. What does? Yeah. Shut up, Typer. You're a nerd. He's got no jump. Dude, when you don't play space animals and then you finally get your hands on that frame one shine, okay. you just end up spamming it. I want to point out an interaction here. He had no jump, and Marth had his back to Samus. And see where he lays that second bomb right, right. there? That's where you, like, he, he jumped out that time, but, like, as he's falling from the first one is when you jump out there and you, like, approach with the back end. Right, right. Because he has to fade forward into that bomb to get that distance. Otherwise, he drops low and he's forced yeah. to recover low. You attack at what he's supposed to be using to recover, not at the Samus himself. Right. Mm -hmm. And Mervis says you, uh, it's, it's honestly kind of effective to even just get hit by the bomb. Yeah, uh, I believe bomb does 7 8%, something like that. Very similar to, uh, to like, going out and getting hit by PK Thunder. Right. You take the 8%, you take the stock. Except you don't necessarily take the stock. And the issue is then is just, like, if the Samus had sandbagged her jump and she's anticipating it, she can, like, just double jump down near you and you're, like, oh, super right. dead. But, yeah. Mostly attacking to occupy the space where the bomb she wants to get hit by is is uh, the oh. general idea. I think he forgot he had extender there. Yeah. Yeah, he's just crouching. Dude, Mervis crouches so much more than I do. I should crouch more. Crouching is good. It's really good at Samus. In this matchup, not not as much because like tip fair range is like yeah really potent. It's hard to get the down smash out, and then like tip fair can also break crouch incredibly early on Samus or on any character rather. Yeah. He's got no jump again. Yeah. <coughs> Oh, was, dude, you got the F smash there, bro. I'm actually surprised. I just kind of noticed for the first time that Flex is in the lead. I wasn't even paying attention to, like, stocks or anything. Oh, yeah. I'm just kind of yeah. watching interactions. Yeah, I think that's a pretty recent development because uh, Nathan was down in, in stocks. Yeah. Uh, and he had, like, 30% on or something like that. 
He's been letting Mervis, or like Mervis has been double jumping pretty poorly throughout the entirety of this game. And for the most part, like Flex gets a little bit of margin out of it. But overall, he backs off a little too early in some situations. And I think a big part of that is just like when you play against Samus enough and you realize like she doesn't care if she trades, you start to like fear her a little bit, even right. when she's recovering. And you can't do that, especially with Marth when you just have like clean range on her. Yeah, yeah, sure. Get out there and up there. <coughs> Uh, oh, I think he was going for a, a weird read. Oh, uh, poor timing on the up tilt, otherwise that would have actually been a stock. He could have just crashed up tilted. And, uh, oh. oh, that was a good recovery. But Nathan, again, did not, okay, he DI'd out that time. But before, he did not DI out. Oh, the windmill, why. dude. Yeah, the windmill of Fury. Ooh, he touched ground. Good call. Yeah. Good call. All right. They're both at 150. Yeah. 150 plus. Flex has yet to punish a whiff grab with any meaningfully or meaningful uh, hit. Yeah. Not even really establishing positioning either. He just kind of like waits a little too long. You have to recognize that like even though the animation exists for a long time, the, the grab box just isn't always there. Right. And so you just kind of run through it and make the Samus feel really bad that she's insignificant and worth Cause, it. Because once the gra grab is at max range, it's no longer a grab, right? Uh, I don't know what the active <laughs> frames are on it, but it's not significant. I think it's like four? Ooh, something. I don't know. That could be totally off. I have no idea what her frame data is for her grabs. I just throw them out. Shout out to Samus at 220. Uh, I hope Flex knows to up throw. Yeah. Please, please just up throw. Oh, he's just he's just scared to shield. He wants to shield grab. Yeah. He's thinking about the up throw too much now. Oh, okay. let's go. Tipper on the platform. <laughs> Good stuff. 250. Rock tipper at 250. That'll do it, man. Whoa. I don't know, man. He could have V canceled. You're right. You're right. Whoa. There were uh, a lot of pog champs in the chat for for Mr. Dave. That is. Oh wait, that Craigasm. is Craigasm. I thought that was Pog Champ. I'm sorry, chat. I'm a Twitch. I'm a Twitch uh, casual. Oh no! Yo, you can't run, dude. She's a bounty hunter. Well, he didn't run. He he walked casually. Walked, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's a prince. To be fair, <clears throat> he did the fashionable thing. Yeah. Which would be uh, walking casually. It's not very royal to run. Yeah. Especially with that cape. Probably inefficient. Yeah, you probably trip a lot if you're running too hard. Brawl. With that cape. That's what it was. They were like, you know what? He should trip. He's got a cape. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, this is unbalanced. We need to give everyone trip. What do you think Samus would trip from? Uh, her space heels. She has space heels, right? Zero suit does. Zero oh, suit does. Okay. Now. Yeah, she definitely has space heels now. She doesn't. Um. Maybe she like was like. Doing some WD-40 on like her suit or whatever. Yeah. And, like a little bit got on the bottom of her shoe. <laughs> Maybe. She's like, whoa! I can see it being like a malfunction in her like space propeller things. You know what I'm talking about? When she her like boosters jumps. on her back. Yeah. Yeah. Like it just like goes too hard and then she just goes flying. She's like, ah. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Good handshake. Good solid handshake. Nathan taking out his aggression against uh, Mervis's hand. He goes for the mix-up. He. Probably